Hey how's it going everyone welcome back to another drum and bass tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really heavy grotty jump up drum and bass sound. We're going to be using Serum inside of FL Studio for this so it's just Serum and then everything else is all stock plugins inside of FL Studio. Uh, so yeah this is what we'll be making in today's video. <laughs> As you can see here, we're inside a serum. Uh, so yeah, the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go on to the wavetables and we're gonna go down. If you've seen the last video that I did, you know how much I like these kind of wavetables, the vowel wavetables. Gonna grab native curse, drag that down a couple of octaves. We can turn the randomization down and we're gonna turn the wavetable position up to about 153. Already you can hear it sounding nice and grotty. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to sort out our LFO. So we'll turn the level all the way down on oscillator A. And we'll just go on to LFO 1 here. And we're going to make this kind of shape. Pretty standard jump up kind of base LFO shape. We'll drag that onto the level. And of course, we want to make sure it's on envelope mode. And for this, we're going to turn it on to dotted eighth notes for the speed. And then we're going to grab LFO1 again, and we're going to apply it to a couple of different bits of the sound. So we're going to go onto the wavetable position here. Just add a very slight bit of modulation. You can mess around with that, see how much you want to add. Then we're going to set this to the bend plus minus for the warp mode. Turn it up to about here. Grab the LFO1 and drag it to about there. And we've got that kind of initial squelch going. Obviously, it sounds quite weak at the moment, but it's the basis for a really cool sound. Next up, we're going to head over to the effects section. So first of all, we're going to grab our hyper dimension. I'm going to turn the mix all the way down for this hyper section. And we're going to go across to the dimension setting, turn the size all the way down, turn the mix up slightly. Then we're going to go onto the compressor. Just drag that up there. Turn on the multiband and drag the gain up a bit. You can already hear it sounding a little bit more squelchy, but like I said, this is just kind of the basis for the sound. Now we're going to go in and add some more effects through other plugins. So the first plugin we're going to be using in the effect chain is this really good plugin included in FL Studio called Effector or Effector. I don't really know how you say it. So the first thing we're going to do is turn off this bypass because then, as you can hear, it's always on. Whereas with this bypass, it's only on when we drag it around. And we want it on all the time. Then we're going to go onto Vox mode and we're going to just drag it up to here. And you can already hear it starting to sound quite nice and grotty. This plugin's great for adding just grit to sounds. The Vox section's good, the phaser section's good. Sometimes the flanger section can be good as well. You can just mess around with having it in any position on here. It will sound decent on quite a lot of them. So the next plugin we're going to be using is Fruity Reverb 2. One of the stock reverb plugins in FL Studio is, is great in my opinion. So the first thing we're going to do is turn down this ER. I don't really know what that is to be honest. Turn the decay down. And we're going to turn the high cut down a little bit and turn the low cut up quite a lot. And we can just reduce the size a bit and reduce the diffusion a bit. And then we're going to make it slightly less stereo. Just on there. Our next plugin we're going to be using, Fruity Fast Distort. It's really good for getting some nice punchy distortion going. And all we're going to do on this, you can already hear just on the stock setting how it is when you load it up, nice and gritty. We're just going to turn up this preset. I'm just going to have it about there. You can adjust it to your own taste, but literally just that, and it's already distorting it, making it nice and gritty even further. Now, the final step to making this sound is we're just going to add a low cut. So we're using Fruity Parametric EQ2, one of the stock EQ plugins. We're going to go onto here, drag this down twice, and then you get this low cut. We're going to drag this dot down and just make it nice and steep. We're going to have it about here. And yeah, you kind of cut off the low end and now you made room to add an extra fat sub underneath. Now, something you can do, like I kind of mentioned earlier, if you want to get this sounding unique, is go back into Effector and you can drag this around. And you can get all kinds of different grotty sounds going. Perfect for adding variation or just making different 
different sounds for any track. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. As I said, the preset is linked down in the description. And the track that you heard at the start as the kind of demo bit is available in my new dub pack, which you can also check out on the same website linked in the description. If you found this useful, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment for what other tutorials you want to see in the future. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.